Hey everyone and welcome back to Manny Monday, the start of my October themed nails. And I hope you guys are entering the contest from this set of nails. What time era do you think I went back to? Now you guys gotta get in right away and guess cause I'm gonna go by the first person, of course the time. And then of course at the end in October when I do my very last outfit, because of course by this Wednesday, you're gonna know what the theme is. If you didn't guess or you did guess, you're gonna know by Wednesday what theme I'm going with for the whole month of October. And then the next time you get to guess will be when I do the Halloween costume. Now the set of nails is where you're gonna do the guessing for that one. Um, and I think that will either be a day before Halloween or it might even be after, but the outfit for sure will be after Halloween. Of course, I'm doing it before Halloween or on Halloween, but you guys are gonna get it after. But that'll be the next time you get to guess. But this is the first time you get to guess what time era I went back to with this set of nails. So what fashion I'm at, am I going to be doing with this? And then, of course, when I do my um, Wear It Wednesday or the nail design for the Wear It Wednesday for my October um, Halloween costume. So who I'm going to portray in that time era. So those are the two guesses you guys get to do. And if we don't get any guesses in that, or at least one person to guess one, then I'm going to do a quiz in that video. But yeah, get on board, you guys. Get in right away, because I'm going to go by the times to see what you guys guessed and to see if you get it. I'm not going to tell anybody if they guessed it. You won't know till October for the last, um, you know, the Halloween costume, that's when you're going to know who the winner is when I do that. But yeah, guys, enter too because I'm doing a giveaway that also guys will love. So get on board, all you men and women. Everyone get on board and tell me again, what time era do you think I went back to with this set of nails? Now, before we get on to this set of nails that I did, let's read our words of Jesus for women. What do you want? John 4, 4, 8. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. And it goes on to say, what do you want from Jesus? Must you see miraculous answers to your prayers or incredible blessings in your life before you will believe in his love and care for you? Can you love him through the difficult times or the seasons when he seems to be silent? Can you love him for what his word says about his care for you? His lo he loves you. He will take care of you. He will provide your needs. Can you trust him enough to love him through the silent times, through the hard times when there are no miracles? Wow. Yes, I can. I definitely can believe, you know, when there are silent times or hard times or difficult times I'm going through in my life, when prayers aren't being answered, you bet I can still trust that God is real. Jesus is real. He really walked this earth. He really died for us. And I absolutely believe because I also believe that sometimes our answer, you know, our prayers don't get answered right when we ask because Jesus either says yes, no, or not now. So, you know, his timing is the best timing. And when things happen, I do believe that that also strengthens us. It strengthens our walk with the Lord, all of that. I believe we go through things for a reason. So yes, I will keep my faith no matter what. And I hope that you will as well. What a great one to, you know, to go off of and, and, you know, really think about, do we only trust him when he does miracles or when he answers prayers? We need to trust him all the time and believe in him all the time. There's not, you know, he's not a genie, you guys. He's not a genie. He's God, which he can do anything, nothing too big for him. But you're not going to get everything answered just like that. Like, you know, three wishes for a genie. That doesn't work that way. Sometimes he will test your faith to see if you still believe in him and if you're going to continue to walk, even though you're going through that hard time. But while going through that hard time, you're learning lessons and getting stronger, believe it or not. The bottom down here says, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteousness reward shine like the dawn, your vic um, vindication like noonday sun, Psalms 37, 5, and 6. Wow, I love this one, you guys, and it's called, What Do You Want? That's awesome, awesome. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and challenge yourself to, you know, just read the entire Bible like I'm doing right now in 90 days. I'm going to read the entire Bible. It's like an hour a day reading and I'm going to keep going till I get it done in 90 days, the whole Bible, or challenge yourself to do it in a year or, you know, challenge yourself to do a 30 day challenge in the New Testament, whatever you want, but just get into the scriptures and get that close personal relationship with Jesus. He's your best friend. He wants to hear from you. God wants to hear from you and just, you know, keep reading this book because if you want to know how to live and you want to feel good inside and, you know, you know, know that God is there and, and live that really 
well, of course, everybody thinks when you become a Christian that it's supposed to be perfect. No, you're going to live a good life, though, walking with the Lord. And you'll be a lot happier. But the devil's going to attack a lot harder. He's going to. And that's how God, you know, your, your faith gets tested. And the devil wants to keep testing you, too, to still kill and destroy. But let's fight back and tell him to get thee behind us, Satan, in Jesus' name. And keep walking with the Lord and get that beautiful personal relationship. And when you read this Bible, you feel so good because you read verses like I just read today, you know. Jesus asking, will you believe even when there are hard days or that it seems like I'm not there and I'm not answering the prayers? Will you still believe? Will you still believe? Do you have your salvation? Do you know 100% that you're going to heaven? Get it today. It's in the Romans verses. Read the Roman verses and get your salvation, you guys, and know 100% that you are going to go to heaven. Sure, we all make mistakes, but that's what Jesus' death was for. If we believe that he died on the cross, rose again, and, you know, did all of this for our, you know, for us, for our sins, and you know, is descended to heaven, sits with his father now, the right hand of his father, and is coming back one day to get us again. He's going to return again to get us. If you believe all of that, and you truly believe it, because God knows anyone can claim to be a Christian, but it's those truly that God knows that are truly a Christian. It takes more than just saying you're a Christian. You need your salvation to make it to heaven. So. Get on, get on board with that, you guys. And if you got your salvation today, write it down in the box and let me know. Or write it down on a piece of paper so you never forget. Write it in your Bible so you never forget the day you got saved and that you are heaven bound. I love saying that, heaven bound. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, keep God close, very close, because we need him, especially in difficult times like we're going through right now. And know even if the prayers aren't getting answered right that second, there's a reason. God is testing you, testing your faith making you keep talking to him because he knows once he answers it, you may not talk to him for a while and he wants to keep hearing from you. There's always a reason, but he is real as real can be. So I hope you guys will, like I said, get that get that great personal relationship with Jesus so you can feel good. All right, let's get on to this design, you guys. I'm excited for this this contest and I'm excited to see what everybody's writing. Of course, you know, I pre-record all these videos, so I'm excited to see what everybody's writing on what they think I chose for the time era with this set of nails. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now let's get on to this awesome design. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for my first set of themed October nails for Manny Monday. We've got some black French tipped nails with a sheer neon pink background and then we've done some burst of lines with pinks, whites and glitter and even bows. What time era do you think I went back to? If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Manny Monday and the start of my October nails. Super excited. I explained it all in the intro. So we're just going to go ahead and show you all the supplies and everything I'll be doing. So for starters, I've done the nail in a sheer hot neon pink that I made and I'll show it to you. It's right here. I just got this top base. It's a base and top coat from Dollar Tree. It's LA Colors. And I just took this one here and I did about... 30 drops. I, you know, basically poured it in, but I would say about 30 drops. It's the salon. Perfect, right? Yeah. And it's called Tropical Punch. It's a beautiful neon uh, pink, but it doesn't look like it on here to you guys. It looks kind of orange, but it isn't. It's a beautiful neon uh, bright pink. And that's the color I got out of it when I mixed it and mixed it up. And so that's what I started the nails off with. And then we're going to be doing a uh, French tip look, but each one will be different. So one might be rounded, mine, one might go to an angle. Not sure how I'm doing it. Of course, I, uh, you know, do the video. You get to see the photo before because, of course, then the nail design is done. So I'm kind of winging this one, but they're going to be at the end. The black will be at the end. I'll be using this Kiss Gel called Express. I got that from Dollar Tree. And then I'll be working with acrylic paints. I need this hot neon and white and I'm going to be doing it like real bright adding some white into it and then a little bit lighter and then probably some white mixed through it too doing some lines through the black and then I'm going to be adding in some um, crystals here they're a um, pinkish kind of uh, magenta but more like to the pink it looks purple in here but it is pink and then some of these iridescent color stones it's hard to see in here because I have a mixture of gold and iridescent so I'm going to be going through and just picking out some of those iridescent stones uh, to go through it. If not, then I will use 
um because those ones are just a little bit more pink to me so or i might use some of those little ones in there uh, but it will be the iridescent color i'm using actually i think i've got some here yeah there they are okay that's the ones i'm going to work with the iridescent ones they're different sizes just on not sure what nails i'm putting it on um and then a couple of the nails uh on each finger um we'll have these bows here these awesome uh bright hot neon pink and black kind of like a cheetah print uh bows i got those from dollar tree so i'll be putting those on as well i'll be gluing everything down with my um brush glue i don't have it in front of me i'll show you show you that stuff when i get there it's a brush glue i got from sally's and then i'm also going to be doing a glitter through it we're going to be running some glitter through it and i'm just going to use this this a rapid um, dry polish that I got from Dollar Tree uh, just to pour some out so it's going to dry fast so you want to work fast or whatever but I just like to buy these because they're cheap and I use it to mix my glitters and stuff so I'm going to use that and this was from CVS uh, during Halloween time should be coming available again this month they should have it this month at CVS I'll mix that up and make that and put some glitter through it because we're going to really make this one uh, sparkly and beautiful and gorgeous and I think that's everything. Oh, and I'll be working with Robin's brush to do all the lines and stuff. But what I'm going to be doing is her, I grabbed the wrong one. One sec here. I'm actually going to be doing the unicorn this time that she has the long striper because I'm going to be doing stripes. So I'm going to use that and any work that I need to do, I'll also use her wand. I'll link her information down in my box down below her YouTube page. If you'd like to order her brushes, it'll be um, her YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. You just go there and... Um, in her information box, she'll have the link to order the brushes or it's robinmosesnillart.com is how you order them. All right, so I'm going to get started on the French tip with the black and I'll come back in and show you guys. So now we've got the start of the French tip with the black and each one is done differently, but they match on each hand. So the pinkies match and then with the next finger in line, we did a French. This one we did kind of a chevron with a taller and a shorter. And then this one, we're going to just do a side angle like we did the pinky and then the thumbs are also just done in a French look. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. We'll just do the one and that's going to be angled like this one, but it's going to go this way. Okay. I kind of just rubbed a little bit off on that finger. So I'll just fix this one real quick. I bumped it. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to angle it, but we're going to angle it the other way just so that they, they match, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to come over to the finger here and just do a side swept angle French. Okay, super easy to do. Just let the brush do the work and just set it down and go at that angle. And then, of course, you want to cap the end, your side walls. Whoops, get in frame here. I hope I was in frame. And making sure all of this is all capped and looking good. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. All right. So that is the start of that. Now we want to get all those lines going in there with the neons, those pinks and the white. So we're going to get the neons going. I'm going to get some done and I'll come back in. So now we've got the start of the lines and we went with the brightest of the colors, the darkest, and then it's going to get lighter. And I've just got them going all different ways, just coming off that black there. I did leave two open to show you. And here's my palette. You see it, this is the darkest, but because it's like these colors, when they come out, they're not as opaque unless you add white. So this is the pink I'm going with. I added the white in there. Then we've got a lighter pink and a lighter and then white. Those are the colors. And I'm working with the unicorn, her long one there. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. So we're going to grab a little bit of paint. We're going to pull, push this aside and we're going to draw it in. All right, so I want it to look like the other side. So this one, we're going to um, copy this one here. So it had three lines coming off, but it goes like this first. So we're going to come like this all the way down, set your brush down, go all the way down and come off, you know, into the black there like that. And if it doesn't get, you know, enough paint, go ahead and just go back over it one more time like that. Okay. And then we have a couple lines. Uh, the other one is just coming this way straight, just meeting. So we're going to do it like that and just meet right there. Okay, and then we're going to do a couple lines coming off of the long one like that. So, and it's going, let's see, over to the side. Okay, and I did two of them because I have that one there. Okay, so we're just going to go a little higher up and just do a line and you lift as you come up with your brush. Do it again and lift. Don't make that one as long. So that's like that. It's kind of looking like some flames, just some fun. We're having some fun with this one. Then the other one is just... Let's see here. I keep bumping these uh, this side here, so I'm just gonna fix it quick. 
But anyways, it's just two lines coming off of that one. And don't worry, I can fix that. So this one, we're going to go the other way. So we're going to follow the line and just go. Let's see, it goes all the way down, right? Nope. Okay, so just going to go like this. Go part way down and go onto the black like that. And then we'll do the one going down the side then. And it comes in. So I get a little bit more paint and go down the side. And I just love this brush. It works so good and come in with it. And I just want to make this a little bit more opaque. So see these, these brights sometimes, even with the white in it, just don't get enough, but just come in and like that. So there's how we're doing that look. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Everyone is done differently, but again, they're matching with the other side. So see, I just wanted to match each one up like that. All right, now we're gonna go into the next color, which would be the, you know, we went with the, the brightest one. Now we're gonna start going down in color. Okay, now we've got the second color going through it. And I did go with the lighter pink of, you know, all the pinks, it is the lightest one because there's not gonna be enough room to do three shades of pink because I wanna do the white too. So we did this one, and then we went to this lightest pink that I made. Then we're gonna do the white. But I'm gonna show you how I did that. See how it's a lighter pink running through that? Isn't that looking great? All right, I did leave this finger open to show you. We're gonna copy just like the other one so the it comes off this way and then align through the middle there. So we're gonna dip into that lightest pink. Like I said, just get a little bit of paint on your brush on the end. And let me draw in here. All right, so we're going to uh, go, yep, one going, let's see, how does it go? It goes that way. So we're just going to set the brush down and go this way with it. And then we need a little bit more on this side, and it just goes off that way. So on the other side of this hot neon pink, we're going to come this way and go like that. Just like that. So basically, I'm just doing lines again, you guys, just lines through it. Pretty simple to do, but you can practice, of course, I know everybody's going to say, well, you've been doing nails forever. Uh, lines can be, you know, can be hard to do too. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and go on to the white. Okay, and now we've got the white just running through it. Like I said, just lines all over the place, just like a burst. It's just beautiful. I love it. All right, so let's draw in, and we're just going to do and match up like this finger. We're going to do this one. So we're just going to get the white, a little tiny bit of white, and we start underneath this one, and again, you're just going to go uh, set the brush down and go like this and lift real quick when you get to the end. Okay, the paint was not right. We're just going to set it down again, and when you get to the end, you just want to lift so it gives it that point like, okay? And you want to do a light touch with this, all right? Now through here, I got too much paint on here. Through here, you're just going to go one way and through the other way, just like that. Isn't this pretty, you guys? Oh, I love it. Love, love, love this one. It's so awesome looking. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and mix up our glitter and get our glitter going. I'll get some done. I'll come back in. Okay, now we've got the glitter running through it. Isn't that pretty? I've done some dots and then just ran some glitter through it sporadically. So we're just going to match this one to match this one. So the dots are going to go alongside with the white and the pink there. And then we're going to just put some the glitter in it on each side. All right, I got the glitter on my palette here. I added some there and added some of that uh, clear um, rapid dry. So we're just going to get some first to do the dots, and the dots go right through the um, neon and the white there. So we're just going to do the dots right here. Just put your brush down and do the dots. You can use a dotting tool to do that. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see this better. And I'll put one more right here. All right. Then I filled in this area with some of the glitter. So just fill the area in because I want it to match with the other one. Fill it in. And then I had a little bit of glitter up in here. Just kind of align there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergy season. All right. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Ooh, I love it. This one is really looking awesome. I love it. Okay. Um, Now I'm going to do the bows and the crystals. Let me get some on and I will return. All right, so I decided to go with just the bow because I think if I add a ton of crystals and stuff in it too, it's going to take away from the design and I just want this design to show because it is hot. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and just put a bow on this finger here. So let me draw in. We're going to get a orange wood stick and I've got some glue right here in the cap and we're just going to make sure that we get a nice amount down in this area here, the cuticle area. So make sure you get enough on there. Then with a tweezers, I'm going to pick up the bow 
and we're just going to set it right down. All right. So just pick it up and set it right into the glue there. And you just want to kind of hold it there for a second just for it to, you know, to settle so it doesn't move. Once it stops moving, then you're okay. All right, but we're going to keep giving it a little push because it's still moving. But it will eventually stop. The other one stopped. So just keep going where you can't move it anymore. Once you really can't move it, <laughs> the other one glued so much faster. It's because I'm on camera. Always got to have trouble when you're on camera, right? Maybe I'm holding this wrong. All right, just kind of give it a push down into there. All right, and... We'll let it dry solid, but there you go. Isn't that beautiful with the bows? I just think that is really awesome. Really, really cool. I love it. All right. So now all we have left to do is to top coat everything with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And I did just go ahead and use this nail glue that I got off of Wish because I couldn't find the other one right now. It's actually in my purse, I think, and I don't want to mess up the nails. So we're just going to top coat these with the Sesh Feet, and I'll come back in and show all of you guys the end product. Okay, I just wanted to come in and show you guys how to go over bows. If you're new to my channel, I'll show you how you go over it. You really want to get it sealed down good, even though it's glued. I'm going to show you want to get a nice, big, thick coat of the Sesh Feet. And start off by just putting a coat like this going under the sides of the bow, like this, and then just bring it down to the end like that. And then we're going to go right on top of the bow, okay? Because you also want to get it on top so it makes it shiny. And then go up under the corners like this. And don't worry if a little bit gets on your skin because we can get that off. But you want to make sure this bow stays good. All my bows always do when I glue them down. And then I use the sesh feet on top. It always works out good. So just do that. A couple coats like that. And when you're done, you'll do another coat. I'm going to do a second coat. I always do two coats. But I just thought I would show you guys that. Just make sure that's how you go over stones or like the big bows like that. Anything that's like a 3D art. All right. Let me finish up and I'll show you the end product. Alrighty, everyone. I am all done. And aren't these awesome? Wow, I love the way these turned out. Even my husband said he thinks it's his most favorite set I've ever done. Yes, ever. Out of the thousands and thousands of nail designs I've done, he said this is his most favorite. And I really love the way it turned out. I love the burst of colors. I love the black and pink together. I love the bows. I love the glitter. I love everything. They turned out perfect. And I hope you guys are guessing which time error I went back to with this set of nails. And definitely give this set a try. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.